Hi, I'm Anna Jones. I'm chef of the season for the It's All Good campaign for Harrods and I'm going to show you how to make my sweet potato dal and crispy cauliflower rice. I've chopped up two sweet potatoes and I'm going to sprinkle over a teaspoon of cumin seeds and a teaspoon of fennel seeds and a good pinch of sea salt and a little drizzle of olive oil. Those go into the oven at 200 degrees for about 25 minutes. So now I'm going to get on with the dal. Here I've got one red onion, ginger, a green chilli and a couple of cloves of garlic and these all go into the pan. Next I'm going to get on with the chutney. I've got 50 grams of unsweetened desiccated coconut and cover it with boiling water and I'm just going to leave this to one side to soak for about five minutes. Next I'm going to add my spices. I've got a teaspoon of cumin seeds and then a teaspoon of coriander seeds. I'm just going to crush those up these go into the pan with a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of lovely golden turmeric and then we just cook these for a couple of minutes to allow them to release all their oils and their lovely flavour. So next for some red lentils, these cook really quickly and are going to form the basis of the dal. And to that I'm going to add coconut milk and about 400 ml of vegetable stock. So I'm going to let that cook away for 15 to 20 minutes or until the lentils are lovely and soft. So back to the chutney, the coconut's been soaking for about five minutes. So I'm just popping a small pan on a medium heat and I'm adding a tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm going to add a few spices to this as well. So first of all, a tablespoon of mustard seed and a little handful of curry leaves. I'm going to add these to our chutney. The finely chopped red chilli good pinch of salt and a little squeeze of lime juice. And the last thing is just a little bit of ginger. So that's the coconut chutney and it's going to add a lovely pop of flavour on top of the dal. So this dal's looking great. I'm just going to finish it off. Firstly with a bit of coriander. So I'm going to add this to the pan with a couple of handfuls of baby spinach. You can actually turn the heat off now and just allow the residual heat of the dal to just wilt down the spinach. So next onto the crispy cauliflower rice. I've got a pan on a medium heat. I'm just going to add a little bit of coconut oil, one red onion, some ginger, and a couple of cloves of garlic. So while that's cooking, I'm just going to break the cauliflower into florets. Now I'm just going to blitz this up until it's a rice-like consistency. Right, that's perfect. You can see that that looks just like little grains of rice. So next up, some cashew nuts. I'm just going to toast them just in a dry pan for a few minutes until they start smelling lovely and toasty and release their oils. So my onions have softened down nicely. So I'm just going to add some spices now. I've got black mustard seeds here and I'm going to add about a tablespoonful. I'm going to also add a small handful of curry leaves. Cook all that for a minute or so until the mustard seeds start to pop. So I'm going to add the cauliflower rice. And make sure each little grain of rice has some contact with the kind of delicious flavour from the onion and spices on the bottom of the pan. So my cashews are nicely toasted now. I'm going to take them off the heat and just add a squeeze of coconut nectar and a little pinch of garam masala and I'm going to toss these all together so they're coated in the spicy coconut sweetness. Add these lovely sticky cashews into my rice. I'm going to add a good pinch of sea salt and the zest of a lime. So that's the sticky cauliflower rice ready to go. So that's my sweet potato dal with crispy cauliflower rice.